take great pleasure in welcoming to Into the Fire, the very talented young Brisbane probable father-son selection, the smooth-moving mid who can play anywhere, son of a gun, future star Jasper Fletcher. Nice to meet you, Jasper. How you going? <laughs> Good, mate. <laughs> now, without sounding rude, unlike some father-son prospects, you wouldn't have seen Dad running around in the AFL at all. Have you sat down with him much and watched his highlights? Because let's be honest, the man could play. <laughs> he did go right, didn't he? Um, I, no, I didn't get to watch him, as you said. I've watched a few of his highlights that have been on Fox Footy. Um, lucky for me, he wasn't at home, so he wasn't able to take me through it and, uh, you know, <laughs> chat up. But, um, no, nah, I've, I've sat down a few times and watched a few games with him, so it's been pretty cool. Yeah, it would be. Okay, so quickly on Dad, he played 231 games for five different clubs. Geelong, St Kilda, the Bears, the Lions, and Fremantle. Did he like to travel, or did he just like collecting Guernseys? Seriously, <laughs> it must have been great having a dad as a mentor, knowing how much wisdom he would have. He would have. Yeah, he'd give me some of his good wisdom and experience. Um, that's a good good call there. I might have to tell that to him that you know he's just doing it to collect jerseys. I write that one for you. He'd have a pretty good collection, wouldn't he? Right now, he'd have a pretty good collection. Yeah, he would have a few jerseys. I've got two of them. I've got his St Kilda and his Geelong one. So hopefully I get my hands on the Lions one one time. Awesome. Free merch, hey? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Last thing on Dad. Does he get a bit jealous when he left Brisbane? He went on to win three premierships. Um, <laughs> I mean, he has he has talked about it. And I do give it to him sometimes. I said, maybe you were the problem they couldn't get up. No, nah, I mean, yeah. Harsh? He would be a bit stiff. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So. Yeah, definitely. Okay, mate, let's look at you. Where did you start your footy journey? Um, I moved up to Brisbane when I was four when Dad got a job at the Lions. So I think I was around five or six playing Oz kick. And ever since then, I haven't stopped, so. Yeah, pretty good as a junior, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, I, I don't know, I was all right. I was a bit smaller. I used to play up three age groups, so I was about nine when I was playing under 12s. So I was getting used to the big bodies early. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Let's not be modest here. <laughs> <laughs> because dad qualifies you for father-son, dad is giving you a chance to be part of the Brisbane Academy. What has that prog program done to help you move to achieving the ultimate goal of getting drafted? I mean, it's been great. I've been there for about six years now in the academy. Um, so I've been lucky enough to, you know, experience a lot of the plays that have gone through and some have ended up on lists like uh, Blake Coleman, two years ago and Carter Michael. So I've been able to, you know, see what they've done during the academy and sort of, you know, how, 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 how hard they used to work and sort of put that into my own game. So, yeah, it's been great. Yeah. You've had the chance to train with the Brisbane Lions and be mentored by elite players like Hugh McCluggage and Lockie Neal. It must have been a bit surreal rubbing shoulders with the competition's best. How did you go? Because my mail is you fit right in. <laughs> yeah, it was a great time. I was lucky enough to be there for six weeks. Um, I learned a lot off Lockie Neal and especially Hugh McCluggage because, you know, he, he sort of plays that outside role, which I've come to play. Um, so I've, you know, picked his brain a lot and just watching, even watching him and even just kicking a footy to him, it was, it was pretty crazy. I still pinch myself now. Yeah. Bit starstruck by Lockie Neal or anyone on the team? Oh, I mean, Cam Rayner had been out for a year with his ACL and yeah. I played in... Um, what was it? it would have been two practice matches and just to see, you know, coming out of the gates and he was, he's red hot. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll be looking out for him this season. I reckon he'll be in for a big year. Yeah. You got the opportunity to play with under-19s in the Q QAFL as a 17-year-old and showed all those silky skills you have now. Now, you've played on the wing. Is that your preferred position or would you rather a midfield role? Um, I used to be inside midfield of my whole junior career. Um, and then last year, playing seniors with Sherwood, I got pushed out to the wing, obviously, because of body size and something I've been working on. And I, I have enjoyed the wing role. A lot of running to do, you know, yeah. getting up and down. Um, but it's good to, you know, get out and, you know, have that sort of penetrating kick in your forward line. Um, but, yeah, wherever I play, that's, I'll hopefully get, play my role and just help the team out. Yeah, it's a very hard position, the wing, isn't it? But very good, yeah. very re rewarding, isn't it? Can be. A lot of running to do, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, let's tell people what you bring to the game. You're clean and composed with the footy. 
can play anywhere on the field. Your evasion skills are so good, you would survive a zombie apocalypse. You love to run and carry more than an Uber Eats driver. You have great skills and even, even better goal sense. You're smoother than butter and your decision-making skills are elite. What is the area you're looking to improve on, mate? Um, I reckon it's my contested possession game. You know, like I said, I've been, I was a outside midfielder last year, so didn't get the chance to play inside as much against the bigger bodies. Um, so going to this year, it's definitely a lot on using my body a bit more and you know, I've added a little bit more weight and strength to, to myself. So hopefully I can just keep working at that and getting better. Yeah, always something to improve on, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big part of the game. Yeah. Now, you're a part of the NAB Academy system this year. Congratulations on that, mate. What Thank are you, you looking forward to most with this year? I think it's just, you know, getting in with camp. I know camp soon and just meeting all the boys. And, you know, with COVID, you haven't had that much of a chance to travel and play against the other states. So it would be good to see how they've come out of their academies and see the good footballers and hopefully AFL, next AFL stars. Yeah, definitely. Have you had your testing yet this year? If so, how did you go? What did you dominate and what did you dread? I'm sorry, but I had a bit of a calf niggle and I was out for about five weeks. So I missed the testing, which I, I was a bit disappointed because I actually do enjoy to, you know, see where I'm at. Um, so I'm sorry that I don't have any answers for you. That's so good. hopefully soon enough I can, I can get back to you and let you know. Were you dreading anything from it though, without the injury? Oh, uh, I've, been, I've been working on my endurance. So I was hoping to get up in the yo-yo and get up. You know, my PB was 21.7, I think. So hopefully beat that. Um, and then I've also been working on a lot of sprint and stuff. So I can get under three. We're pretty happy. Yeah, the yo-yo is tough, isn't it? Yeah, it can be a tough one. Yeah. Now, it's a big year for you. Do you ever feel the pressure of being a son of a former AFL player? I always feel a bit sorry for you guys because although it may help in a way, the expectations must also be hard at times. Yeah, I mean, it's always been there. You know, people talk about it, um, even through my junior career. I had people talking about, but I've kind of come to realise now that I focus more on just playing my sort of footy and not worry about what other people think and, you know, just focus on the crew around you. Um, but, yeah, like you said, it can be tough and there's a lot of a lot of pressure sometimes, but I think, you know, pressure's a privilege, so you just got to take it and, you know, keep moving with it. Yeah, and that's a great way to think about it, mate. Thank you. <laughs> All good, mate. Now, you'll play with the Allies this year. And unlike previous years, you may actually get to play. How's the old Allies team looking? Anyone I should be keeping my eyes on? Um, well, yeah, it'll be a good year. I reckon state champs this year now with COVID sort of settling back. A um, few boys from my academy that I'm, you know, hoping to get up. Um, Jack Manley, he's, a, he's, um, he's been riddled with injury a lot through his junior career. Um, and he's, going, he's having a really strong season for us at Lions Academy at the moment. So he might be one to watch out for. Um, and then one of our skippers, Liam Hude, he's a big sort of forward, take uh, big pack marks. So hopefully hopefully he can get in that team as well. And then you have the Suns boys in, you know, Jed Walter, who's also part of the NAB Academy, and Cody Harrington, Jared Eckersley. So, yeah, it should be a pretty good team from up here in Queensland. All right. I'll be keeping my eye on those boys. <laughs> yeah, there's a few too. <laughs> yeah, there is. Okay, some easier footy questions. Are you a Brisbane Lions supporter? Yes, I, I reckon, yeah, I'll go with Brisbane. I've had yeah. a few, I've had to support a few clubs with dad, you know, yeah. traveling around a little bit, but Brisbane, yeah. Yeah, it must be hard to choose with all those clubs, hey? I know, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people, so yeah, it's hard. Yeah. If you had to choose an AFL footballer to have over for dinner to discuss footy, who would you choose? Good question. Um, I don't need to think about this one. I reckon. I go with the Lions or do I I'll go outside? I reckon I'd go with um, maybe Patrick Cripps. You know, oh. how we started this year. Um, it's been unreal. So I reckon he's in for a Brownlow year. Um, yeah, but just to, you know, pick his brains on how hard he's worked and what's done to make him successful would be, yeah, would be good. You reckon he'll lead Carlton to the finals this year? I'd hope so. I'm rooting for Carlton a little bit. You know, I've got a few good players and, you know, been stiff the last couple of years, so. That'd be good to see him in the finals. Yeah, very exciting. Mm. Yeah. What ball, what footballer do you play most like? Um, I'd have to start to go with Hugh McCluggage just because yeah. he's been a bit smaller and 
play the, play the outside game, um, starting his career. So I sort of try and model my game off him. Yeah, he's a great player, isn't he? Yeah, he's a superstar. Yeah. Some non-footy questions, mate. What do you love to do in your spare time? Me and my mates, we love playing cards at the moment, whether it's poker, oh, yeah. blackjack. Yeah, been learning the craft on poker. So hopefully, you know, keep keep going going well at that. So I don't know. Yeah. Not too much gambling, I'm hoping, though. Uh, no money on the line. Just just a bit of fun. Gamble just to talk a little bit. Of yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good fun. Good fun to relax and talk, talk with your mates. So. Yeah, definitely. If you had to play another sport, what would you do best in? What would I do best in? Um, well, my mum was a basketballer. Um, yeah. She played basketball for Australia. So I'd have to go with basketball. Hopefully she could sort of teach me the way dad did with footy. Yeah, very sporty parents, don't you? Yeah, it's been good having them as sporty parents push me, push me along. So, yeah. Did you play basketball growing up, or just the footy? I did. I did play a little bit of basketball, but I had to focus on footy because they sort of clashed. So, and that was sort of my sport. Oh yeah. And especially had... being a bit smaller, so you know. Yeah, definitely. If you had to cook a meal, what would you do best? Cook a meal. Oh, I reckon I'd back myself in for a good breakfast, like the bacon pancakes, bacon yeah. on toast, hash browns sort of stuff. Yeah, bacon and eggs have been a popular answer lately. Like have cooking they? old breakfast, you reckon? Yeah, well, good protein, so. Yeah, no. very good, isn't it? Yeah, good feed. Yeah. Place on earth you most like to travel if you could choose anywhere? Oh, good question. I've always wanted to go to America to watch the sport over there. So I'd have to go to Los Angeles at the moment with LeBron. You know, yep. see him before he retires would be pretty cool. Have to see two basketball teams play. Who do you reckon you want to see play? Ooh, um, I'm going to go with, in the NBA, the Brooklyn Nets because of KD, Kyrie. Yep. Then, uh, who's up there? At the moment, it'd be the Suns. They're going pretty well. And see Devin Booker come up would be, be pretty cool. Yeah, is Suns your favourite basketball team or is it Brooklyn Nets? No, I'm actually an OKC fan. Oh, really? I know really? that's probably the wrong answer what I said, but, you know, we're <laughs> just talking at the moment, so. Yeah. Well, Mr. Smooth Mover, you're going to fit in the AFL system with ease. You have all the attributes to challenge Dad in, in games played, mate. I'm predicted a long and awesome career. So knowing that you'll play on the big stage, I know that you'll collect a bucket load of goals. You see, Jasper, that's exciting to me because it will allow you to become the master of the celebration, something the game desperately needs. And I have the best in the business. It's for you to use. Here it is, the end of the fight. Oh, right, I'll pull that one out for you one day, one game, if I keep you go. All right, sounds good. Mate. Thing, so, yeah. Yeah, I might need to practice a little bit first, I reckon. Yeah, I might have to give it a go. Awesome. I'll make sure to do my downtime first uh, so I perfect it and then I'll send it to you. Awesome, mate. Well, I can't thank you enough, Jasper. You're a legend both on and off the field. It's been awesome chatting to you and I can't wait to see you get on an AFL list. Thanks again, buddy. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Good to have you on, mate.